Ever since I saw Guillermo del Toro show up to one of the film festivals with a little tiny Pinocchio from his film, I knew that this was going to be top tier cinema. Let's get to the review. Welcome back film fans, it is Brad from Let's Be Real Brad, and today in the channel, I want to talk to you guys about the brand new Netflix original stop motion animated fantasy film called Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is well directed by Guillermo del Toro as it's based off of the Italian story. This is the type of story that everybody and their grandmother knows about and can probably recite it on the top of their head, but with Guillermo del Toro making this version of Pinocchio, Pinocchio, I don't think you could do that because this movie feels entirely different. Every single decision that was made in this movie, I absolutely adored, and I thought it made this movie even better. The ideas of child innocence and seeing the world of disaster and war and the pain that adults can just put on to children, and I think this movie does a really good job exploring those ideas, but one of the things that I really enjoyed most was exploring the idea of death and that children don't quite understand that because they're still growing up in this world and they don't understand that people can be gone forever. This is an extremely dark film that deals with a lot of adult themes and this movie is rated PG-13. This movie has a lot of very strong ideas going on and that they might not be suitable for young children, but if you think they're ready, I think you should definitely show them this movie as there's nothing bad in the movie. It's just really dark and feels like they're exploring things that children might not be able to understand yet. So let's just break this movie down into all my positives first and I have to start as always with the performances of the voice actors as everyone does a phenomenal job in this movie and one of the reasons why I didn't bring up who the actors were that were going to be in this film is because I had no idea who was who besides Ewan McGregor because he is the narrator and Jiminy Cricket. Everyone does such an amazing job that I didn't even hear any of these other actors and be like oh that's this person oh that's this person they truly feel like these characters and this is exactly what i would want from an animated film the stop motion animation is seriously phenomenal i cannot imagine being able to create a film like this as it just looks so challenging to watch on screen and it's just so smooth and interesting in the way that this movie just all comes together and one of the most crazy aspects about this movie is that that this is a really long movie especially for stop motion animation you know stop motion animated films are usually not that long because it you know it takes so long to make and I was genuinely really shocked I also loved all of the character designs in here especially Pinocchio which I was a little worried about when I saw the trailer and the poster for this movie because you know like it looks weird and you don't really know why Pinocchio looks the way he does but when you see it in the context of the movie it makes it make more sense and I had grown to really love it and it was just a very stylistic choice that just made so much sense you know those awesome and amazing movies that have a great great story and everything that is in the movie just all comes back into play well that's this movie this is not in a very cheesy in your face way like just some film director was just trying to put all the pieces together but it's just not really all that great this movie actually does it extremely well and there are some things that you kind of completely forget about every single aspect just feels like it was so carefully crafted and detailed within the story i also found the direction this film to be great as well and I think Guillermo del Toro deserves a shot to be nominated for best director as he is literally one of my favorite directors working today and he just proves that within this movie he took something that everybody has seen and he made an animated film that's going to be heavily compared to the classic 1940 Pinocchio movie from Disney that everybody loves and enjoys and he made something completely different there was not one creative decision I genuinely did not like I think all the shots in this movie 
movie are amazing, especially toward the end of the film that really made me cry. Like, I was sobbing at the end of this movie. And that is something that he's so good at doing in his movies is creating emotion and actually caring about the characters. Unfortunately, this film does have a few tiny negatives here with the first one being a little bit more of a nitpick and that there is a little bit of a comedy that comes from Jiminy Cricket and most of the scenes are just him just getting smacked every single time that he's on screen. And while the first few times I found it was funny, I felt like it was going for more the younger crowd, even though this movie is not going for the younger crowd at any point in the film, but it's just something just to bring up. And my last negative with this movie is something I've already brought up before, but I have to kind of dive into a little bit more, and that is the runtime. As I feel like this movie is a little too long, as this movie dives into so many different aspects about this world during the time, and I really enjoyed it because it's very different from any other version of Pinocchio I've seen, but I do think a couple scenes could have been chopped down a little bit, or you just make this movie longer, as there's a moment in the second half of the movie where we're going into war with a bunch of these soldiers that feels very short comparative to any other scenes in the rest of the movie or any other plot points, and that could have been easily extended. Overall, guys, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio is a phenomenal film that is easily one of the best films of the year, and I really hope it wins Best Animated Feature Film at the Academy Awards because it deserves it. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I'm just being crazy, but I think this is the definitive film version of Pinocchio at this point of recording of this video in 2022. I truly love this film, and I would definitely watch it again, and it is easily one of Guillermo del Toro's best films. I am giving Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review of Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. As if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, leave a like as you should, and ring that notification bell so I can see you all in the following video.